Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I'm celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a male actor's headshot session retouch. So I'm going to show you the fundamentals on how I achieve a very clean and natural result while retouching male skin. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is heading in and I want to just start cleaning up and diminishing some of the uh, skin blemishes or kind of discoloration within the texture of you know the actual image. I like to work my way from the top and head down to the bottom. So my first initial thing I'm going to do is head over into the spot heal tool and I'm using a Wacom pen tablet that also has pe pressure sensitivity so that's going to allow me to get into areas that are more fine lined and be able to clean up those details easily without uh, kind of you know going into a place of messing up other parts of the skin or sampling areas that I don't want to particularly mess with and like I said I just work my way from the top all the way to the bottom and the thing is as well when I'm retouching a lot of the times we try to remove things that are specific characteristics of the face when it comes to male skin, I love to keep that natural effect to it simply because we have different variations of texture and tonality, but my specific purpose is to simply remove or fully diminish and still have that realistic texture and characteristic of what is normal to this person's face. So if it's like a mole or if it's you know something like this where he has a little scar there I want to keep that because that is something unique to him and you know when it comes to this being in an agency you know he's sending his book out that detail is something that is going to be seen and you know uniquely is and you don't have to go crazy when it comes to retouching as well but just the things that immediately stand out, we can, you know, clean up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to show you a quick before of where we started. And this is simply all using the spot heel tool and a quick after of where we are so far. Now, my next process is before I go into, you know, other stages of retouching is dodge and burn. Dodge and burn is a huge thing when it comes to cleaning up an image and being able to keep the actual detail without distorting it and I like to simply just go over certain areas with a light dodge and bring some of those darker areas out a lot of this is also going to be corrected with frequency separation ga uh, Gaussian blur but you always just want to get the foundation of what you're working on correct first and then once you put it into the other you know areas of retouching it looks better it's kind of like building a foundation of, you know, a home. If you don't level the soil and all of these different things that, you know, goes on before the cement is poured to lay the foundation, then you're going to have problems. So you want to make sure that you're going in and you're getting a smooth, you know, base to the image or base to the skin before you go in and start cleaning up other areas. And nothing about retouching has to be this long, drawn out, strenuous process especially when you you know are just dealing in uh, kind of like frequency separation dodge and burn just a very clean simple uh, retouch but at the same time you just want to make sure you take that time and bring as much detail and you know polishness to the image and I'll bring those teeth out a little bit as well different portions of the eyes all right nice so here's where we started and here's where we are so far and I'll zoom out a little bit I perfectly I, I like where we are so far I'm going to do some cropping as well or kind of uh, going to a part a process of content aware just to bring you know a little side over on this side but right now my next process is going in and using the retouching essentials pack by Prince Mason and this is going to help me go in and get a better base to the image using frequency separation and Gaussian blur 
I'm going to use a radius of 5.6. We're going to go and click OK. We're then going to stroll down to the high frequency separation layer. And if you want to see more things like this, head to the link in the bio as well to see more in-depth lighting tutorials, how I get the shots, my workflow. Head to the link in the bio and head to my Patreon page. And also check out my photography store by clicking the link to photo store and it will take you over where I have photography lighting diagram booklets and ebooks showing you how I achieve my workflow within lighting indoor and in studio. So let's get back to the video. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and click a mix brush tool. And what we're going to do, this is what using this Wacom PIM tablet is great for. We're going to just start brushing around the areas that we want to get more uniform within the actual texture and the coloration of the image. So you'll see things start to smooth out a little bit more in areas that need to be pressed a little bit more. We can do that as well. We need to charge this as well. In areas that you know aren't that bad, we can kind of slow down on the pressure sensitivity. But we just want to get that clean, natural result. This actor is Demetrius as well, Dimitri, and he is a actor and model in New York City. All right. We're just cleaning that up. I'm going to back out. I'm going to deselect and see how clean that is. And it's still leaving that realistic characteristic to it, but it's just more diminished and polished than what it was. Also, if we wanted to take it a step further, we could simply go in and do a little frequency separation to the shirt and diminish some of those wrinkles in certain areas as well you know see how it's changing things this is what I love about frequency separation just those small little details that make a world of a difference you know we can deselect and look at this before and after all right, perfect. So before I go into the next step, I want to go down here. I want to merge these together. And the next thing I want to do is go into the adjustments layer and add a little bit of contrast to give a little depth to the image and then a little brightness as well to give that little pop. Now, also what I'm going to do is go into the actual crop section and I want to crop this a little more let's see let's go back I'm going to clear and I just want to bring this over to center it a little more crop factor is huge within an image it can make a total difference you know between the actual final results so we just want to make sure we're sizing it up getting it perfectly you know uh, centered we're going to click enter head up to the rectangle marquee select and we're going to right click, go down to content aware fill. And what content aware fill will then do is do a sample over the image and fill in the areas that is missing. So the thing is as well with this, sometimes it doesn't create the best selection. So you can simply go in and kind of get better detail within deselecting certain areas that it selected. And being that this is a brick pattern, I don't expect it to be, you know, completely perfect. Let's see, do I like it? No, it didn't work with this particular pattern. So the next option, and this is the thing in retouching, you might try something and it doesn't work out in the way that you desired it to do, but don't let it stop you. What you can do is simply go back in to the crop tool. 
You can bring it over a little bit. And you can slightly fine tune different areas. Perfecto. Let's see. Alrighty. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this retouching tutorial. Here's a quick before and after. And if you want to see more content like this, head to the link below this video. Check out my Patreon page. It's $6 a month with exclusive over 200 videos and photos showing you my workflow. It's the huge, huge breakthrough of how I achieve so many lighting results and scenarios and behind the scenes videos. And you can ask questions, you know, exclusively to me and I'll reach back out to you. Check that out. It's $6 a month. It's literally less than a cup of coffee. And then head to the other link in my bio, head to my website and check out my photo store where you can find Photoshop LUTs, Lightroom Actions, you can find photography, lighting, diagram, ebooks, and booklets to show you how to take your workflow to a whole new level. And I will see you back in the next video.